If you clicked on this, odds are you enjoy my videos or you enjoy comic books. Well, I have a project that involves both of those things. Roll tape. Hello, I'm Travis. I'm Huck. And I'm Ben. And we love comic books. I really love making videos on YouTube and interacting with my viewers in the comments section. But recently, we decided we want to try something a bit larger. We want to do a full documentary. A documentary about comic book shops. Oh yes. I remember when we first came up with the idea for this documentary. Hmm. You know, I've been thinking. I want to do a documentary. But what could it possibly be about? Hmm. I've, I've got, got it. No, no I've, I've got, got it. it. No, no, I've got it. We, we both, both got, got it. Comic, comic books. Hey guys. Ben! You guys want to do a documentary about comic books? Awesome! But we didn't even tell you our idea yet. How did you know? It just seems so obvious. It may or may not have happened exactly like that. We plan on taking two weeks in March and visiting the East Coast and stopping at about 40 comic shops. We'll be interviewing their owners, employees, and loads of fellow comic book lovers. A few months ago, we spent an entire weekend going to a bunch of different comic book shops in Ohio. There were a lot of differences in the way they operated, the ways they made money, and their location. And we got to thinking how interesting it would be to compare these comic book shops to ones in other states. Is there more money to be made from hardcore vintage comic book collectors or numbers from an ongoing series? Are comic book movies helping spark more interest in comics? Or since print media is going mostly digital these days, is the comic industry hurting as well? I really hope not. I work at a comic book shop. <laughs> <laughs> but we plan to find out. We'll be driving from Ohio to New York, down through Virginia and South Carolina until we finally reach Orlando, Florida. And then it's back on the road, up through Louisiana, Tennessee, up to Chicago! Finally, we're meeting up in Michigan with our friend, comic book artist, Chris Sanchez. Chris, being the awesome guy that he is, is responsible for creating a lot of the fantastic backer rewards that we have for this project. And on that note, we should probably mention the awesome backer rewards. For a donation of $10 or more, you'll get early access links to documentary videos nearly a week before the general public. Depending on how long the documentary ends up being, let's say 90 minutes, I'll upload three 30-minute sections to YouTube and you will be emailed a private link to view the documentary nearly a week before the general public. You'll also get a thank you email from one of us because every little bit counts and we really appreciate it. For a donation of $20 or more, we'll email you a picture of us taken at one of the comic shops. And to make it personalized, in the photo, we will be holding a sign with your name on it. Really? Yep. That's awesome. And the picture that we send you will be unique to just you. We're not copy-pasting here and giving everybody the same image. If you donate $30 or more, we will mail you a mini print of the limited Tour de Comic Shops print art poster being done by my friend, comic book artist Chris Sanchez. Should we show him a teaser? Yeah, let's show him a teaser. Here's a draft version of the print. I'm excited and you should be too. It's going to look awesome. You'll also get a random comic book that we pick up during the trip as a free bonus. For a donation of $50 or more, we will mail you the larger version of the Tour de Comic Shops art print. We haven't figured out the exact size of the large print yet, but we're thinking something along the lines of this. For a donation of $75 or more, we will mail you one of Chris's exclusive limited edition tour date comic shop sketchbooks. It's mainly going to consist of artwork that he's done from other projects, but he wanted to make a new sketchbook anyway, and this documentary gives him a perfect excuse. And our print will be in the sketchbook! And don't tell these other guys, but they might be in the sketchbook too. What? Nothing. And for a donation of $100 or more, you'll get an actual hard copy of the documentary on DVD. So wait, they get the DVD, and the sketchbook, and the large print, and the free comic book, and the photo, and early access? That's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff, but we're not done yet. For a donation of $150 or more, you will be mailed a personalized face sketch done by Chris Sanchez, a one-of-a-kind art piece. You can tell him what you want him to draw, and it can be the face of your favorite superhero, your face, and he'll draw that face on the back of a comic book backer. For a donation of $200 or more, Chris will, get this, draw you a scene of whatever you want. Here's some examples of sketches he's done for me in the past. Deadpool and the Scarlet Spider, and Wolverine going camping. So for a donation of $200, they'll get the personalized sketch, the DVD, the sketchbook, the large print, the free comic, the photo, and early access? Yes, but... Wait, there's more? <laughs> 
totally gonna say that. For an awesome donation of $250, remember that large limited edition Tour Day Comic Shop sprint that I was talking about before? Well, every single person that we have interviewed for the documentary, they will have signed it. And when everything is said and done, there will only be 10 available. So for $250, you'll get everything we previously mentioned. Yep. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Yep. Now, $8,000 is a lot of money, but we're going bare bones on this project. We're only asking for the money that we need to complete our goal. We'll be doing our own filming, and we're going to have friends help with the scoring and editing, so that'll cut down on the cost quite a bit. Instead of taking one of our own personal vehicles and running the risk of maybe something going wrong and having to have that emergency fund set aside, we decided to actually rent a vehicle because the insurance that'll be covering that vehicle will save us probably about $400. We're calculating for inexpensive hotel stays, and gasoline for two weeks. And an extra gas fund in case we get ourselves lost. There are some tools that serious documentary filmmakers use, like great high definition, high grade camera and sound equipment. And extra storage space for all that high definition footage. I know that we're going to have a lot of B-roll. Yes. Um lot of b-roll. Keep in mind, we're going to have multiple video cameras rolling for the, almost this entire two-week trip, and we want space to store all of this high-definition footage. Like I said, we need lots of b-roll. Lots of b-roll! Yes, I just said that. Just making sure. Look, I know we're going to need, need lots of b-roll. Yes, Ben! B-roll, or Brawl is the supplemental or alternate footage intercut with the main shot in an interview or documentary. Thank you, Wikipedia. We'll also keep a video diary along the way, uploading an update video for you guys every few days or whenever we get to a hotel with free Wi-Fi. We'll make sure to budget ourselves wisely, and we'll be constantly working to make sure this is something that we're proud of. Now, this is a subject that we're very passionate about, and we want you to share in our passion. And with your help, we'll be able to reach our goal and make this awesome, nerdy documentary a reality. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.